A friendly competition between Jameer, Renard, and you and Isaiah yeah, between in Florida and, and California. Yeah. So, but what's that been like, and, and, and who, who's the better state? Uh, well, I mean, of course I'm going to say Florida, but I mean, I don't, I don't too much know about that there. I mean, I just represent me and, and all my folks back home. So, I mean, whatever they got going on, that's between them. My mind is set on something really different, so. What is your take on how well those two freshmen have come along? I mean, it's huge, you know, to have somebody step up like that as a freshman and come out here and uh, display the, the uh, talent and help us out and, you know, make big game, I mean, big time catches in big game, just like last week. Have you followed along with Darren Carrington's career and another fellow receiver who, who's been pretty good in the nah. Pac-12 the last few years? Nah, I ain't, I ain't worried about no other receiver in the Pac-12 in this country. I'm only worried about the guys that, that's here in WSU, and that's all I can see. Before fall camp even started, you said a guy that you needed, people needed to keep their eyes on was Tay Martin, and obviously people understand that now. What did you see uh, in early on with him that, that others did? I saw, and I told uh, Coach Trey with this, um, I saw the same, I saw, I saw myself in him is what I saw. And, you know, it, it's, just, it's just rare that, like, you can, you can be, like, two years older than him and, and see the same thing and see yourself in someone. And, you know, it was just good taking him up under my wing and just helping him out. And I'm glad, like, he able to, like, show his talent off to the world. Is that the first time you've really felt that type of connection with a, another player like that? Nah. I mean... I got Zell, I got Desmond, you know, CJ Demery, so I got other receivers as well. Tavares, uh, Coach Leach was, was uh, I guess, after the game, he said something like, "What? Uh, nothing is, is satisfying unless it's difficult. Right. Do, you, do you know where he's coming from on that? I mean, he preaches it all the time. It's just that, like, you know, you don't want it to be easy because if it's easy, it's, it's, it's boring. Like, I mean, we're supposed to be the team by 50, then we beat them. I mean, it's boring. Like the, the 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 most fun memories you'll have playing this game is, is is like in difficult games. You know, being down and coming back, late drives, put the game away, finishing the game, and you know that's what he meant by that. Did that ring true about that game, that Stanford game? Yeah, very. You know, um, a part of me was like, you know, let's take a shot on third down, and you know, coaches came up with a different idea that we were going to put put a ball in the defense hand to get a stop, and you know. It paid off. Luke's had some, some pretty impressive drives throughout his career, so kind of fourth quarter drives to, to win games. Where, where, where does the Stanford one compare to, to the UCLA one a few years ago, Oregon, and Sun Bowl? I mean, they all they all there. I mean, my, my favorite would be the one with Gabe Marks and UCLA. That by far the best. Why that one? Because, I mean, it, it was just like, it was, it was a back and forth game, you know, back and forth with the defense and the offense, and then, just that late drive and that and that pass with you know if Gabe drop it then we lose you know but he caught it we won so I, I feel like that was the best one of me. Tavares, what did you tell Isaiah when he was thinking about coming up here? I just told him you know you know it's your decision you know the next four years gonna be whatever you make it wherever you go and I just felt like you know if you come here you'll get opportunity to get out of balls and you know and we was on the, we was on the rise at the time so I was I was telling him that like. You know, you come here, you get a spot, and, you know, it'd be like high school all over again. You on the right, I'm on the left, and we just doing what we know best. Does he seem to be liking it up here? Yeah. He, he like it. I mean, I mean, that's a question you, you ask him. I, for me, I know I know how I feel, but, I mean, for him, you, that's a question you got to ask him. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about being so far away from home and but doing your thing? I mean, my family supported me. You know, all my friends and family back home supported me. So, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm here to play ball you know, show my talent and get a degree and, you know, make the university proud of me. Does it almost feel like you guys are kind of in a, in a, in a playoff right now where every, every game really matters, determines where you guys finish in the Pac-12 and kind of have to win every game at this point? I mean, it, it always been that. It always been that. Like, you know, from fall camp we came in, you know, we always talked about, well, we still do talk about championships, and we always feel that, like, every game, every game, you know, is, is a playoff game to us and one game at a time. And, you know, unfortunately right now, every game, well, the, the last two games is really, you know, crunch for us. So, I mean, we just taking one day at a time and, you know, hopefully we can pull them out.